So in number five, I'm just going to call this instead problems with um, using CPI to estimate inflation. So as we saw, we basically can construct um, an estimation of the price by um, we can construct an estimate of the price by working our way through um, what the basket of goods cost over various years. But there's a problem with that. And the largest problem with the CPI is what's called the substitution bias. Um, because the CPI is a fixed basket of goods, Substitution is not permitted. And so that's obviously a problem then in the CPI, because basically as something becomes more expensive, consumers do substitute away from it, at least to some extent. And your CPI then would, um, CPI would be overestimating actual inflation. Because it'd be presuming that you're still buying a lot of the, um, more expensive good when in fact you would cut back. Um, another problem with uh, the CPI is that there's a new product bias. Basically as new products get introduced, as new products get introduced, they take time to be counted as part of the CPI. So we could imagine um, Uber rides didn't enter the CPI until very recently because, uh, well, they just didn't exist. Additionally, um, the CPI has what's called an outlet bias. Um, things have to be bought at the physical stores and the retail stores. So here, um, consumers aren't buying things at outlet stores. Um, they do allow you to buy things online, uh, but outlet stores for some odd reason are not counted um, within the CPI. And then a final thing going on here is the quality bias. Things may get more expensive, but they might be better. Um, the best example I have of this is my father tells the story of when he bought um, his first new car. It was a 1974 Chevy Nova and that he paid $3,500 for the car. And that today, obviously, a car is most of the time well over $20,000. And he complained about it, right? That why are cars so much more expensive than they used to be, right? And part of the idea is that there is inflation, but the other part of the idea is that the car that's being bought is more reliable, is safer, will last longer. So it's a better car, and you obviously would need to pay for that kind of thing.